Welcome everyone. I'm Dan Hansen, the Executive Director in Market Retail for Loan Depot. Tonight I'm excited to open the evening of Miracle Mobility. This is a special night tonight as it's the 20th anniversary of Free Wheelchair Mission, an organization that was started by Don Schorendorfer in his garage where he began to think about how to make a chair that's innovative, creative, comfortable, inexpensive, and can get people off the ground. And that mission 20 years ago is getting celebrated tonight. At Loan Depot, we provide financing for people to buy homes, to refinance their homes, to build communities. And when we started thinking about what charities do amazing things for people, we thought of Free Wheelchair Mission. It's been an honor for us to be their partner for many years, and especially this year, the 20th anniversary gives us a chance to reflect on the lives that it's impacted and changed. We are very excited to be a part of tonight's event. Because we reflect back and we're going to show you a lot of those memories, you're going to see that the money has been well spent. We've continued to improve the ability and the efficiency of our organization to provide hope to people across the world. And this is the kind of thing that people should be spending their time concentrating on. I want to congratulate all of you who have contributed to this 20-year campaign. And for those of you that will contribute this evening and on into the future, because the one thing I will tell you is, if you wait for someone to provide a miracle, it's not the same as being a miracle. So tonight I hope you enjoy the show and let's take a look at some of the remembrances, some of the things that we've done over the last 20 years that will remind you how far we've come. Have a great evening. Don's realization that the problem is so big um, that an expensive wheelchair can never be able to scratch the surface. You can satisfy a lot of the world's needs with an inexpensive, durable, functional wheelchair. F Five dollars for the chair, seven or eight dollars for the wheels. Can I put something together? The first one we gave away, the compassion just broke through and everybody's in tears. So we'll always maintain the goal, which is to make everyone who gets our wheelchairs feel loved by God, to really, really understand that they are deserving of this new product, um, to give them opportunity and hope. I've been blessed to be able to lift, um, oh gosh, I would say hundreds of people on chairs. There's nothing better than seeing that joy from the recipient and the caregiver and I have been able to go on nine mission trips with Don and, and, and other staff people, and that, again, to pray for the people that are receiving the wheelchairs, and they are as grateful for us as we are for them. This is a very simple thing, but this is changing people's lives. How can I not get involved with something so simple that has such a big impact? This is, uh... Pacific Shoreline Surf City Marathon. After we read the stories, we felt really moved to partner. Started in the warehouse. I assemble the wheelchairs. I take care of them. That was the beginning of Gen 2. The Gen 2 is a, is a workhorse of a chair, but if you're in a rough terrain, it's, it's going to last a long, long time. I wanted to see it firsthand. The humanizing effect of all of those ways of caring a person to sitting in the chair the way I'm sitting right now immediately brings dignity. But now they're doing more. They're educating people on how to sit in the wheelchair, how to stay healthy. It's a much better holistic care. The Gen 3 folds up, and that's great to get it through a door or maybe on the roof of a bus. The new chairs, you can start to making adjustments to make them feel comfortable. I mean, our goal is that everybody who needs a wheelchair should have one. Don has a lab, and, and that lab simulates the rocks and bumps and the journeys that the, that the chairs go through. Recently, we had a worldwide pandemic, and our team didn't miss a beat. So I think the future has innovative spirit, great ideas, risky ideas, but wise ideas for the greater good. Let's go change the lives. Let's Let's change five more million of them, 10 more million by 20 years. Let's do it.
Hello everybody, Nuka and I are so happy to be with you tonight. You know, we've got people all around the world tuning into this, this event we have. We're at one of the watch parties, we're in Orange County, but there are watch parties around this country as well. But they're so happy to have you come and being supporters for us. If it wasn't for you, my wheelchairs would probably be in the garage, the ones I made back in 2001. And you know, they wouldn't have gone anywhere, but your generosity, your support has made us, allowed us to give away 1.3 million wheelchairs around the world. Your generosity is humbling to me. Thank you so much. We are so humbled, Don. And it really all started with you and was followed by so many along the way who helped us provide the gift of mobility. Last year and in this, our 20th anniversary year, we have been really challenged due to the pandemic. So many of our partners have been impacted and we continue to pray for them. But I'm really proud that we've continued to be able to get wheelchairs out. Despite the shipping challenges, despite the price increases, and despite the virus itself, we've continued to give the gift of mobility. Our partners have suited up, masked up, and forged ahead during this pandemic. And I'm really grateful for that. And I know that you are too, Don. And that brought up something that we're both very proud of is the fact that we do provide personal protection gear. Our partners had no access to this stuff and we could find it and give it to them and ship it with the container and not only train them how to use it, but to train them how to give them away to the families of the wheelchair recipients, keeping them safe too. Well, you know, so often I get this question, Don, tell us that one story that has moved you over the years, these last 20 years. There's just so many, but there's something in common that I see when you give away a wheelchair. I know you've seen it too. It's that spark in their eyes. It's like that spark of hope. They see the wheelchair as a gift of hope. And we can give that gift away for less than $100. It's actually been a privilege to be able to see that spark in their eyes, that spark when they finally get their wheelchair, the one they've been waiting for for so long. And the other part of the story is seeing God's hand. He has brought the right people at the right time to grow free wheelchair mission. And without those dedicated people, friends and supporters, we wouldn't have been able to make the impact that we have in 94 countries. We thank every one of you for watching tonight and for supporting our mission. People are watching from their homes, their offices and churches, and some are even having watch parties like the one we're at here in Orange County. We have a big goal tonight of raising enough money to provide more than 21,000 wheelchairs to be sent to those waiting all around the world. So we need everyone watching to help us get there. And you know, we're gonna do it too. We're gonna get there. Yeah. And I've got some really good news that's gonna help us get there. We've got some very generous supporters all around this country who want us to make it and they're gonna match. Whatever you give, they're gonna match it. So if you give one wheelchair and they give two and so on. And I think with that help, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We are. We ask that you give generously by going to our website or by calling the number on the screen. Tonight, you can help us to reach our goal of transforming more than 21,000 lives with the gift of mobility. Each and every one of you has the power to make an incredible difference in the lives of those who are waiting for a wheelchair. So thank you in advance. And we look forward to the next 20 years shining even more brightly than the last. And thank you to our event committee and to all of our generous sponsors, especially our presenting sponsor, Advisors Mortgage. We also thank our volunteers and our entire team for making this evening possible. Enjoy the show. Wow, that's cool. They got sponsors. Some cool sponsors they got too. Oh. Oh, the, the camera's like, like it's on me right now. Okay, that's cool. Hi, everybody. 
All right, let me share about myself. I guess we're gonna do like a circle. Hi, my name is Michael Jr. and I've been, I guess that's what we're doing and I'm going first. So I'll go first. Well, it's true, my name is Michael Jr. I am a comedic thought leader, which means I share thoughts comedically. <laughs> that's what I do. And then what else? And then I got five kids, you know, that's fun. Oh, I get to travel the whole world. I've been in a couple movies and stuff. Yeah, so that's what's going on with me. Maybe it's time to highlight somebody else so they could they could talk or something. Uh, hey, Michael, um, you're one of the special guests. <gasps> Apparently, I'm working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, I'm part of this thing. This is great. It's cool. The uh, the will share mi mission. I think it's important that we, we do share. So we wheelchair. Wheelchair. <laughs> I'm just playing. I know what this is. This is dope. So let me say this. Um. There are more than 75 million people around the world in need of a wheelchair. Did you guys know that? I didn't know it until I read it right here. <laughs> it's not true, that's not true. I knew it. I knew it was 75 million. I thought it was 74 million, 228, because I saw some people. Who, uh, these are people who can't afford a wheelchair. Many have to crawl on the ground to get anywhere and are unable to connect with their community. Oh, snap. Could you imagine having to crawl on the ground? This is a phenomenal, awesome organization. I dug in, I did the research before I decided to sit and even watch this. And now I'm excited that apparently I'm an employee. Thank you, free wheelchair mission. Uh, you're not done yet, there's more. Oh, there's more, wait a second. Everyone watching this event is helping to raise awareness and funds to help transform lives with the gift of mobility. That's literally what you're doing. Everybody watching, you're helping them. I thought I was helping too, because I was just watching, but now I'm not just watching. So am I helping more or less? I don't know. Anyway, I want some more people to be mobile. I think this is awesome. I think it's amazing. It's tremendous. And we get to do this doggone together. Greetings to you, it's John Luke here, and uh, we are thrilled to be joining you tonight for Miracle of Mobility in support of Free Wheelchair Mission. Yeah, I mean, it goes without saying, but so much has happened in this past year since we joined you last, uh, and tonight is all about coming together in support of those who are living with disabilities. Yeah, you may not be aware, but 75 million people around the world need a wheelchair, but are still waiting for one. Yeah, so the gift of mobility provided by Free Wheelchair Mission gives people hope and opportunities. I mean, opportunities to get health care, to see their families, to yeah. go to work, to go to school, to go to church. In the spirit of coming together, in the support of this mission, we are happy to share with you as an exclusive for Miracle of Mobility, a special song we recorded during these recent difficult times. Yeah, so enjoy and please uh, join us in support of Free Wheelchair Mission. For the can't go back, singer for the broken past, singer for the truth found out life is now upside down. If you're looking for hope tonight, raise your hand. And if you feel alone and don't understand, and if you're fighting in the fight of your life, then stand. And we're gonna make it through.
with our differences. Together we are bolder, braver, stronger. Good evening. I am so honored to be part of tonight's Miracle of Mobility, celebrating Free Wheelchair Mission's 20th anniversary. Thank you so much for joining and for your support of this important mission. I'm coming to you tonight from L.A. to share some amazing stories of transformation. And together, we're going to see how the gift of mobility is changing lives all around the world. From Nicaragua, we have the incredible story of Octavio and his son Alfonso, for most of their lives, they earned their living as divers and fishermen, just like their ancestors before them. Lobster fishing can be pretty dangerous because of the deep dives these fishermen must endure. Unfortunately, one day tragedy struck both men. Here is their story. My son and I were not born with disabilities. We used to be artists and divers. I am Octavio and this is Alfonso. We belong to the Mesquita indigenous tribe in the North Atlantic of Nicaragua. For centuries, our people have lived from fishing and diving. My ancestors were divers. I was also a diver for 32 years, and I taught my son Alfonso that way as well. It is a dangerous job that requires diving up to 130 feet deep without equipment in order to obtain the fruit of the depths. When you dive into the waters, you are always aware that it might be the last time. But the responsibility of being the provider drives you to do it. On our last dive, we decided to go deeper than normal to look for a daily lobster. We surfaced too fast, and that's when the day came that we never expected. We both suffer a cerebral embolism. My son Alfonso and I were transferred from the high seas to the hospital in Bilwi, Nicaragua to try to regulate the cerebral decompression in one of the only two decompression chambers in my country. But it was too late. The damage to our bodies was done. We had lost our mobility. We have to face the challenge of never walking again. Struggling with the thoughts of what did we do wrong? Why us? by both of us. When all seemed lost, and just as my son and I lost our mobility, we regained it. We received our first wheelchairs. We couldn't believe it. The wheelchair not only changed our lives, it enabled us to do everyday things. And we knew we have gotten new legs, a new opportunity. I am thankful to Free Wheelchair Mission for giving us our lives back. Just two wheelchairs provided hope and transformed the lives of Octavio and Alfonso. And with your help tonight, we can transform the lives of thousands more. So please go to MiracleMobility.org right now and give generously. Thank you. Hi, my name is Perla Paget, and I'm joined tonight by Adam and Avi. We're here representing Advisors Mortgage Group, and we're so honored to be part of this evening. In 2013, I was approached to donate a single wheelchair. Since then, our involvement has grown into a long-term relationship. We support Free Wheelchair Mission's values, purpose, and their global impact. We realized early on that we wanted to do more than just donate wheelchairs. We want it to be part of the solution. When you give a wheelchair, you're giving more than just the gift of mobility. You're giving that gift of mobility and everything that comes with it. Which is? Health. Education. Hope. Independence. Emotional health. Employment. Dignity. We at Advisors Mortgage Group, along with over 1 million wheelchair recipients and their families, are grateful to Free Wheelchair Mission for the gift of mobility. Thank you to everyone who has helped make this possible in the last 20 years. We're looking forward to helping millions more in the next 20. <laughs> hey, it's me again. 
Shoot, I guess I'm gonna read the card. Um, well, hey, first let me just say, um, uh, there are more than 75 million people around the world who need. Uh, try the next one. We went through that. <laughs> I want three tacos. That's not it. That's, not, that's much a pole order. Um, <clears throat> first of all, the wheelchair design is amazing. Have you seen it? It's not just like a regular wheelchair. No, not at all. It has a cool design. Please. It's functional and durable, which is very important because not everybody got streets. You know what I mean? People say it's rough on the streets, but if you don't got streets, it's really rough. And this wheelchair can hold up to it. It also has the ability to hold up through uh, dirt roads and floors. They got dirt floors too? Yeah. On the real, like if you just think about it, like. In some of these places, people have to actually be on the ground. I mean, this just really helps people. Uh, people can actually gain employment. Like you couldn't get a job before, but now you can. You know what I'm saying? It, it helps people go to school. Wow. Like I didn't even think about that. You couldn't get to school before, but now because you're mobile, because of the wheelchair mission, you actually can get to school and get a higher education. So getting off the ground is literally helping people get off the ground. It's helping them go to a higher place. This is significant. This is dope. I love everything about this organization except for the fact that I didn't know I was doing this part. But everything else I'm reading here, these ingredients are amazing. So boom, we got so much really cool stuff going on. This is so great and stuff. What am I doing? What's, what's supposed to happen now? Get people to talk about it. Yeah, that's right. That's how I'm supposed to do. Thank you, random person who didn't tell me I was being a part of this. Um, here's what's important. Spread the word out. Like, let everybody know about this. Because this is really cool. The more people know, the more the organization can grow. And the more the people can get off the flow. Because <laughs> it was... Listen, I'm not a rapper. Okay? But anyway, you really want to share. So right now, if you want to, share the link, share the mission, tell other people about this. Because it is completely awesome. Michael Jr., funny and poignant. Hi, I'm David Hummelberg. I am so glad to welcome you here to Miracle Mobility Live, our virtual event. Uh, I also have the honor of being on the Free Wheelchair Mission Board. You know, last year was unprecedented in so many ways, but there were silver linings as well. And for Free Wheelchair Mission, one of those silver linings was our new virtual format. We went from being able to connect with hundreds of people in Southern California to tens of thousands of people around the world all at the same time. And we love that and it's astounding. Um, but we also love talking with people in person and being together. So this year we're trying a hybrid approach where we have watch parties, thousands of watch parties throughout the globe where people have gathered one-on-one -on -one and in small groups to watch this event together and share that interpersonal connection. We hope the hybrid is the best of all worlds. And none of this would be possible without the generous support of all of our sponsors and especially Advisors Mortgage, our title sponsor. So watch parties. So I happen to be at a watch party right now. I hear in, in Irvine, California, as you can see here, we've got several hundred people uh, here, there they're cheering, uh, at our watch party at Hangar 24 in Orange County. And uh, we're having a fantastic time and learning a lot and, and giving a lot. And uh, this venue is especially uh, poignant because it's built out of shipping containers. And some of you may know that actually Free Wheelchair Mission distributes all of our wheelchairs via containers just like this. So it's very apropos. I also want to uh, hop to one of our other watch parties in Prescott, Arizona. There we've got Joe and Susan Rubio uh, hosting a party at the County Seat Restaurant. And Joe and Susan are dear friends. Um, many years ago, my daughter Allie and I went on our very first wheelchair distribution trip in El Salvador. And Joe and Susan were actually the leaders of that trip. And their heart for people with disabilities and helping them is so inspiring. So Susan, how's it going in Prescott, Arizona? Hi, David, and all of our Orange County uh, watch party people. <laughs> 
we have a rowdy crowd here, as you can That's hear. That's awesome. So we're having a great time. We're enjoying our miracle margaritas. We're having appetizers. Uh, but most of all, we're just so happy to be here to raise funds for wheelchairs for mobility. And you know, David, I just think it's so wonderful and amazing that we went on this trip together in 2012. And here we are nine years later, still passionate about lifting people off the ground, placing them in a wheelchair. There's just nothing like it. There truly is nothing like it, Susan. So in Prescott, have a fantastic time and thank you for being here. So Susan said something at the end that's so poignant. There's nothing like putting somebody in a wheelchair. There's a sense of joy on part of the recipient and the people that help enable that gift that is so special. And it's the gift that keeps on giving. And for many of our recipients, this wheelchair that they receive is the very first gift they've ever received in their entire life. So it's so meaningful on a bunch of dimensions. Obviously, it's fantastic mobility, and they've never been able to get around on their own, and now they can. But there's something deeper as well that's touched. They get a greater sense of self-worth, of confidence in their ability to move around and engage with people. And a whole new world of possibilities are opened up that were never there before for them to experience. So it truly is a miracle. That is the miracle mobility. And that miracle mobility is only provided through you. You are the ones that make that gift of the miracle mobility happen. So tonight, we want to do a lot more miracle creation. So tonight's goal of wheelchairs that we want to raise money for is 21,250 wheelchairs. 21,250 wheelchairs. You're gonna hear that number a few times. So there's a couple of ways to help with this, this big goal. So number one, get the word out. Social media, texting your friends. Information is available at the bottom of the screen uh, with URLs. And also, most importantly tonight, give. Give, stretch yourself work to create more and more miracles. It truly is so important. Um, and the great news, and Don already touched on it, is every dollar donated tonight is gonna be doubled. So if you think you're giving one wheelchair, you're actually giving two wheelchairs. So I would encourage you to give and give generously. You know, there's not many things in this world where for less than $100, you can actually transform someone's life with something that's practical, tangible and enduring as a free gift of a wheelchair. So we really encourage you to give and, and give generously. So I touched on ambassadors. Uh, Sue and Joe Rubio are ambassadors. Ambassadors are volunteers actually just like you and we'd love to have you be one. They provide their time and talents to create awareness of free wheelchair mission and also get donations. And tonight, we're gonna to spotlight one of our wonderful ambassadors, Evan Wynn. I found out about Free Wheelchair Mission th uh, through my church. We were fundraising by uh, running the LA Marathon. We we're trying to race a container at that time. I decided that it was a good opportunity to be more hands-on, so I, uh, I applied to be a volunteer. I started in the warehouse. I, uh, I assemble the wheelchairs, I take care of them. I um, keep track of them when we send them out to ambassadors to, for fundraising events and stuff like that. But actually going out in the field and seeing you know, the, the fruit of that labor, right? And the, the, the impact. It changed my perspective on like charity work in general. I think it changed me in the way that kind of new mentality that it's not just something you do when you have free time. It's something you're supposed to do. It's, it's part of who you are. In previous Miracle of Mobility events, special guest wheelchair recipients have attended in person to share their stories. Well, tonight, we're excited to bring you an update on one of those recipients, Lynn from Vietnam. Let's take a look at Lynn's story and some updates since she last appeared at Miracle of Mobility. In 2013, wheelchair recipient Lynn traveled from Vietnam to be a very special guest at Miracle of Mobility. 
she shared her story, how she was born to a loving family of very modest means. For 27 years, she had to crawl to get around or be carried and dreamed of receiving a wheelchair. Her parents tried their best to care for her, even taking her to school on their bicycles. She took many falls from her mother's bike because she could not balance. Those were difficult times, filled with many tears. After school, she learned the skill of sewing. But still, she had to crawl on the ground to get from place to place. In 2007, Lynn's dream became a reality. She received the gift of a wheelchair from Free Wheelchair Mission's local partner, giving it back to kids. She was overjoyed with the freedom the wheelchair provided. It radically changed her daily life and opened her world. When she spoke at the Miracle of Mobility event, she shared that with the help of her parents, she was able to buy a sewing machine. And her biggest dream was to grow her business to teach other people with disabilities to earn a living. A donor was moved by her story that night and committed to sponsoring her dream. Free Wheelchair Mission was able to provide her three new sewing machines. Lynn has persevered over the last eight years, building a workshop for her business, which has now grown to seven sewing machines. She continues to inspire and teach other people with disabilities the skill of sewing. Lynn also found love and in February of 2020, married a man who is also a free wheelchair mission recipient. They had a beautiful wedding celebration, surrounded by their friends. Then with the onset of COVID, like so many around the world, their life changed. But Lynn, forever wanting to help others in need, pivoted to making face masks. She donated 200 masks to the local free wheelchair mission partner to share with children in need. And even through the COVID challenges, Lynn and her husband had a great blessing. They welcomed their first child, a healthy baby girl. Lynn is a testament to perseverance. She has embraced all that life off the ground could offer, including love and family. The transforming gift of mobility has also transformed Lynn's community, who now work and earn on their own. One wheelchair rippling through a community has made waves of transformation. Incredible, it's, it's just really cool to hear about the growth of her business. And we wish Lynn and her husband and her daughter continued blessings. Right. Uh, wow. This is amazing. You know what? I forgot to, I forgot to set the fire in the fireplace. Can, can you set that in there? Okay. Could somebody get that, please? Just spill it a little more. Cool. Well, listen. Um, first of all, a million wheelchairs. That is amazing. How in the world does such a mission get accomplished? A million wheelchairs. Well, I'll tell you how. One is from a devoted staff, uh, some amazing donors, partners around the world, and thousands of volunteers over the last 20 years. That's how stuff like this actually gets done. And just for clarity, the real mission is to transform lives by offering mobility to those people in developing nations. And this is clearly something that Christ would want us to do. Like, literally, this is a call I believe this is a call from God. Like you're actually helping people be mobile. So I just am really inspired by the way this organization brings hope to people who don't even have hope or somehow they've lost it. And I'm not just talking about those people in the fields and on the ground who don't have wheelchairs. I'm talking about to us as well. Even when I hear these types of stories of what this organization is doing, it brings me hope for people in general. 
And the fact that you're watching this right now, the fact that you want to be involved with it, the fact that you're going to, I believe, give in a significant way gives me hope as well that we're actually doing a lot better than any news station would ever tell you we're, actually, we're doing right now. So I applaud you in advance for what you're going to do to help these people in such a significant way. And that means if you just help a one wheelchair, if you did a hundred, if you did a thousand, or you just skipped us right ahead to another million wheelchairs. If that's what God is calling you to do, do it. This team can absolutely facilitate such a thing. So I am so blessed to be a part of this. Do not forget by all means, go to the URL you see on the bottom of the screen. We want you to give, we want you to help people be mobile. Like even before you get up from the chair you're in right now, just imagine for a moment if you couldn't get up. Like if you had to wait for someone else to take you or you weren't mobile at all, like what would that be like? Like how would that, how would that have affected your life? Like just think about that. Just take a beat before you even get up and think about the people who can't. And then be excited about the people you're helping as a result of the choice you're making right now. I so appreciate you. You guys are amazing. You're awesome. You're tremendous. Thank you for giving away you do. And, and Free Wheelchair Mission, man, just big ups to you guys. Uh, Don King, you're amazing, dude. I mean, it's not Don King, but you know what I'm saying, Don. It's Don, but you're the king of wheelchairs, which probably isn't the best title. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. I had a choice I had to make. I could feel sorry for myself. I could grieve the obvious. Or I could get into my wheelchair and start fighting for a life, a future. That 19 year old girl whose world had just been flipped upside down, who looked over a railing and dreamed of just making it to trials, had made it to the London 2012 Paralympic Games. Mallory Wegman in lane two, and this race is all about redemption for her. One lap for gold. 25 meters into the race, I took my one and only breath to my left hand side, and I saw the feet of the girl in lane three. Mallory Wegman in lane two, the United States. I buried my head and I thought of every single thing my coach and I had worked on for four years, and I fought for every single inch of that pool. 25 meters later, my hand met the wall. I turned around and I saw my face on the Jumbotron and I heard Paralympic champion and Paralympic record. Mallory Wegman closes in the last 20 meters to outtouch Jiang and Elliot. Halfway through the race, she was fifth. She ends up getting to the wall first. 31-13, a new Paralympic record. In that moment, I realized that it is never too late to fight for what you want. That race is not over until your hand meets the wall. You never let up. You fight with everything you have. You put it all on the line. Hello, everyone. I'm beyond honored to be joining you for Miracle of Mobility. Since becoming paralyzed at the age of 18, my life has been emboldened by my wheelchair. In many ways, I've done more on four wheels than I ever did on two feet. But that is because I've been fortunate to have access to the mobility equipment needed to regain my independence, giving me the opportunity to not only conquer the challenges before me, but carry me to the top of the Paralympic podium as I made my wildest dream a reality. While access to proper mobility equipment should be a right, not a privilege, for many living with disabilities in developing countries, access to proper mobility devices can be a tremendous challenge. My wheels provide me the freedom to navigate the world around me. That is a freedom all should know. But unfortunately, many are left yearning for. Without that access, individuals become reliant on their families, caregivers, and communities, becoming locked off from the world around them because they don't have the basic freedom of movement that a wheelchair can provide. Free Wheelchair Mission is working tirelessly to provide mobility to those in need 
throughout the world, giving them the gift of movement, the freedom to create independence, and the ability to pave their own path. Growing up, my father told me every night, you are the best, you can make a difference, and you can change the world. The gift that you were able to give, the gift of mobility, not only makes a difference, but has the power to change the world. Tonight, we all have the ability to empower countless others to give the gift of mobility. So be that difference, change the world, even if just for one person. Right now, give someone else the ability to pave their own path on their terms. Help Free Wheelchair Mission provide mobility to those waiting for their chance to see where their four wheels could carry them. Hey everyone, thank you so much for giving so generously tonight. Now we turn to Kenya and Margaret's story. The onset of muscular dystrophy impacted her ability to attend school and help her on her parents' remote farm. A wheelchair provided by Free Wheelchair Mission changed everything. Here's Margaret's story. Promise me son not to do the things I've done. Walk away from trouble if you can. <laughs> I'm Margaret Wajiko. The wheelchair has been assisting me in making my movement easier, like how I used to walk with my legs. The Buddha Buddha picks me from home to school. Studying at Madanya Secondary School, the teachers are friendly, good. I have friends who are good friends and I'm happy and happy to be back to school because I want to study furthermore and at least to achieve what I always admire in future. We thank God because she is back in school and we love her the way she is. As Margaret's mom, I would like to thank Free with your mission which has assisted my daughter. She has become independent, she can go to the farm feed the chicken, the goats, and the cows. I would like to say thank you and be blessed. Thank you. And I can wish that they can reach more and large population such to make someone, someone else future easier than they made mine. Thank you for your mission and may God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Such a great story. Margaret is truly an inspiration. Now with her wheelchair, she can see her friends, go to school and help her family earn a living. These are the kinds of stories that you're helping to create tonight together. Let's keep making an impact all around the world. It is up to us to provide the gift of mobility. So please go to miracleofmobility.org to support this important mission. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing Margaret's story. And that is, that story is touching. Every one of these stories is so touching. So we're coming to the end of our virtual party here. We're having a ton of fun here in the OC, and I hope you're having a ton of fun and giving generously wherever you may be watching this webcast. Donations are coming in from around, not just the country, but the world, and we're super appreciative and grateful for that. So let's get an update, let, up the minute update on where we are in our goal of 21,250 wheelchairs. Okay, we are at 15,000. 500, 352 wheelchairs, 15,352 wheelchairs. Absolutely wonderful. We are so grateful for everyone's generosity. And I would just encourage you, we still have time to give. Throughout the evening, the matching funds are gonna be available. 
Please stretch, create some more miracles, lift more people off of the ground. And I would encourage you to do that as much as you're comfortable with. So we're close, we're really close, but we want to close the gap even more for 21,250 wheelchairs. Thank you so very much for your generosity. So now to close our webcast, we're gonna turn it over for a great song from Billboard Top 10 Artists, We Are Messengers, and I'm gonna turn it over to Darren in Ireland. Hey guys, it's Darren here with We Are Messengers. We're back home in Ireland, and today we're on the coastline of Donegal along the Atlantic Ocean. I'm so thankful that we get to be a part of Miracle of Mobility and even more thankful that you support the free wheelchair mission. That's an incredible opportunity to demonstrate the love of Jesus. You see, Jesus is fond of those who are hurting, marginalized, those on the outside, those who are poor in spirit. I know how all those things feel. And we recorded a very special version of our song, Image of God, for you guys. We're going to perform it tonight. And I hope as you listen and as you watch, you're reminded that Jesus doesn't just love you, but he's incredibly fond of you. Whether you're able-bodied or not, rich or poor, in high or low spirits, that Jesus is fond of you because you have been crafted and formed in his image. So thank you so much for having us. And I pray that this song blesses you so, so much. I woke up with a broken heart in my chest I couldn't sleep, couldn't get no rest Weighed down by the heaviness of life And I try to shake it flipping through my phone But all it does is make me feel more alone How could anything that feels so wrong be right? Seven billion voices separate us but only one can show us who we are We are made, made in the image of Made in the image of God A beautiful shades of love We are made, made in the image of Made in the image of God That's where the light comes from the same medicine we all need another second chance there's no first in line at the foot of the cross Of, made in the image of God. Yeah. 